Hey guys, it's Kelsey, the Happy Hobbit, and I'm here after falling off the face of the universe for a while. That was me falling. It's been a couple of months, man, since I have done anything booktube related, and I guess I just wanted to hop on here and just talk a little bit about why um, and kind of what my plan is going forward. Because I missed book two. Let's just cut to the chase. I missed it. There was just a couple things going on the past few months that have kind of taken up a lot of my time mentally that I felt like I couldn't put my best self forward for book two. I went, nothing like bad, like nothing crazy bad happened to me. Nothing at all. Um, actually, it's all good stuff. <laughs> but it was quite a process um, to get through it all to that good stuff. I guess to keep it short and sweet, I went through a job change, which was really, really difficult because I loved my job. I loved it on so many levels. But that being said, I was also very unhappy on many levels. So I was a clinic counter manager for Ulta Beauty and I loved my job. I loved it for so long. I had been doing it for going on two years and it had just gotten to the point where I wasn't happy anymore and going to work didn't give me joy like it used to. And luckily, another opportunity had presented itself to me and I took a really big leap of faith to pursue this new job. And I ended up getting it and it's great. I'm utilizing my esthetician's license, which is awesome. So it's just a little bit of a change from what I was used to. It's a change in stability for sure. I gave up a lot for this job, but that being said, I feel like I gained so much with this new job. So one of the biggest things that I feel like I've gained is a little bit more mental clarity and some personal time. So I previously, I worked 40 hours a week and the hours that I wasn't working, I was thinking about going back to work. I'm sure you guys have been through that at some point. I just couldn't make myself concentrate on anything else that had previously brought me joy, like doing booktube, for example, or just even just like reading in general. I just like, I couldn't be bothered to do anything because I was just not in a good mental place. And I don't know, it was just a little bit nuts in my head at the time. So once I decided that, you know what, this is it with my job, we're gonna make a change. I felt so much better already. So it's been a little bit of a process over the last few weeks to months of me getting back to where I mentally needed to be so that I felt like I could sit down, talk to the camera, talk to you guys, and put content back on my channel. So that's that. I'm feeling a lot better now. I think I'm gonna have a lot more time where I can concentrate on things that make me happy when I'm not at work. And that's that. Just, you know, a positive change that just took a process to get to. Moving forward, I'm hoping that I can set some time aside a few times a week to sit down and record. I really do wanna to get to maybe a schedule. Me and schedules don't get along very well, <laughs> so we'll see, no promises. Um, but I would love for this to be a thing that I, I can be consistent at because I love it and I love all of the people on here that I interact with or interacted with a few months ago anyway. And yeah, what else is going on? Book-wise, I actually started reading some poetry. Never something that I pegged myself for, but I read Milk and Honey like so many people have read that like it's it's everywhere i read that in one sitting and i just fell in love with it you know it's pretty deep a lot of the stuff in there and if you can find meaning for it then you know it hits pretty hard or close to home sometimes after reading that i purchased the princess saves herself in this one and the witch doesn't burn in this one the author's name is escaping me right now they're in the other room which i moved my book nook I don't know if you remember, but in one of my other videos, 
My book nook was kind of in a cozy little chair right over there. I actually migrated things in my bookshelves to my guest room and I kind of did some rearranging. I put a picture of it on Instagram. If you follow the underscore happy hobbit, you'll see it. Maybe when that room is kind of more the way I want it, we can do a little book nook tour or something like that. I started reading poetry. I just picked up another poetry book at Target yesterday. I forget what it's called, but the cover was really cool. <laughs> so yeah. I started um, listening to audiobooks more. I never thought again, like the poetry that I would ever care about an audiobook, but I do drive a little bit of a distance to work. So it gives me a good like 40 minutes of reading time to and from work. I started an Audible free trial. Tell me your thoughts on Audible, guys, because I don't know how I feel. Like $14.95 or something like that a month, but still having to pay for the price of the audiobooks, which in my opinion were like pretty expensive. I don't know about you guys, but I, I thought they were expensive. Um, obviously you get your one credit a month, but like, do you think it's worth it? Like, yes or no? I know there's some free alternatives out there. So let me know your thoughts because I would love to have a discussion about that. So, yep, I started reading or listening to The Store by James Patterson. That one is so fascinating. It's, I feel like I'm going through it very quickly. Probably most of the time the case with an audiobook, but still, I'm enjoying that quite a bit. It's the first James Patterson book I've ever had an experience with, so that's cool. And I'm restarting the Red Queen series, meaning I'm restarting book one because I'm an inconsistent <laughs> because I'm inconsistent AF and I got to chapter four of Red Queen and put it down. Now that all four books are out, I am restarting it and I'm hoping to get through the whole series start to finish. Yay! You know what's cool? Victoria Aviard, she's actually from Massachusetts like me, which I just thought is so cool. I'm like, oh, so we're basically friends. <laughs> anyway, um, anyone who's still watching this, you're the bomb. There's really nothing else to update other than the fact that I wasn't in a good place, I'm in a better place now, and I'm really excited for it. I think it's gonna be a very welcome change for all the things that are happening with me right now. And I can't wait to see where it goes. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day, and chime in on that Audible question down below. I would love to hear people's thoughts on that, because I'm really, I don't know where to be right now with it. So maybe you can help me out. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. If you would like to subscribe, please subscribe. It would make this Hobbit oh so happy. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.